Scrivener is my absolute favorite writing software for novel writing. I say this with absolutely no financial incentive to do so. I get no kickbacks from them. I'm not affiliated with them other than the fact that I once reached out to them to tell them how much I love them and asked if I could do a workshop with them just because I like them. And I say this being someone who is not techie and does not use 99% of the features that Scrivener offers. I am not your friend who's going to fix your computer or your coffee maker. Trust me, I am 100% gonna be at the Genius Bar before I even try to troubleshoot anything myself with my computer. <laughs> so even being someone who uses maybe 5% less of what Scrivener has to offer, I still find it completely worth it. And by that I mean worth both the cost, which is not a lot, it's only about $40, and also worth the learning curve, which is actually not that steep if you aren't trying to learn all of the bells and whistles. Okay, so here's why the 5% that I do use in Scrivener is so great. Whether or not you have started writing a novel, you can probably infer that a novel is a massive, massive undertaking. So is a memoir, so is any book, frankly. I mean, we're talking about 70,000 or more words that you are trying to manage. So this is not just a writing challenge. It's not even a revising challenge only. It's a project management challenge. It's like to be a novelist, you also suddenly have to become a wedding planner for a 200 person wedding <laughs> or organize travel for a company retreat of 75 people. Like who knew you were going to have to develop this skill set to write a novel of like managing a massive project because you can't actually get your head around 70 or 100 or 200 scenes that compose your story, not all at the same time. So you have to find some way of creating a visual representation of all of this content you've created in your first draft. Now, this could be a lot of things. It could be a kind of catalog. It could be a spreadsheet. It could be a table of contents. It could be a storyboard that I've talked about in other videos. Sometimes I'll call this a reverse outline, but whatever it is, you're going to need something when you finish your first draft. And this is where Scrivener comes in in an incredibly helpful way. The very basic idea behind Scrivener is that as you write a scene, you give it a short name. That's it. You give every scene a short name of just a few words. If Jessica and Kate go to the mall in your scene, you call it Jessica and Kate go to the mall or J and K go to the mall. If goblins take over a small city, you call it goblins take over the city. Okay, we're talking like five words. Doing this virtually adds nothing to your workload. I mean, it, it doesn't take you any extra time other than a couple of seconds, but it will prove invaluable when it comes time for you to revise because your novel or memoir is now composed of these pieces, these scenes, these components that you have named. And not only have you named them, but in Scrivener, you can move them around. You can drag them to different spots in your draft or to a scraps folder if you're me, where I dump the things that I'm cutting. Most importantly, you can very easily see from a bird's eye view, what the scenes are that are composing your story. Now, I'm gonna show you what the storyboard feature in Scrivener looks like now, but real fast before I go on, I wanna invite you to apply to the Book Incubator. It's a 12-month MFA alternative that I started and that I now run with novelist Rufy Thorpe. You can apply at the link below. It's just two questions, it takes a couple minutes. And if you're writing a novel, you'll definitely want to check it out. Okay, back to the video. Frankly. I haven't even used the storyboard feature in Scrivener, but it exists and writers I work with seem to love it. It looks like this. Here's the important thing to know. You don't have to create this storyboard separately. Scrivener does it for you based on the names that you have already given the scenes. You've given these scenes, these names as you were drafting, or in my case, as you were transcribing, because I actually write by hand my first draft and, and that's what I teach other writers to do if they can. So these days I tend to transcribe in Scrivener rather than write in Scrivener. And I'll, I'll talk more about that in a second. Either way, the whole point is this feature alone of naming your scenes makes Scrivener amazing. Again, there are a thousand other features in Scrivener that you could and can learn. But frankly, I'm not a big fan of giving myself a bunch of technological tasks when what I need to be doing is writing. But I think this one alone 
really makes it worth it. And because I feel like I know what you're wondering if you're new to Scrivener, yes, it is very easy to export your document from Scrivener into whatever other writing software you need it to be in. Microsoft Word, Google Docs, Pages, a PDF. I mean, it's, it's literally just the click of a button. You don't have to download any extra software or anything. I hope this was helpful. Go check out Scrivener. They have a free trial. Really no harm in, in just checking it out. Now, speaking of writing a book, are you writing a book or do you want to write a book? Because if so, I would love to hear from you. When I'm not writing, I run a program called The Book Incubator. It's a 12 month MFA alternative and I walk you through writing, revising, and pitching your book. You can apply at thebookincubator.com or the link below. It's just two questions that'll take you under five minutes. I really hope to hear from you. Thank <laughs> you.